Hello everybody out there, this is Utsupsin from Smart Tech and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this simple sun material in UE4. So I'll just run you through the functionalities. So first you can um, just let me see what I can do. Yeah, yeah. You can change your temperature. Okay. Now the real temperature approximately by scientists is 15 million kelvin um which is big mm, cool so now we are gonna have something that is at least lookable on the game and just doesn't completely blind the person we are looking at and then you can have um let me just show you Mm. Mm, it is compiling shaders. Let me just take it then. Now you have seen there are two more options here. Now I'll just lay it low. Yeah. Go. Cool. I'll just increase the pulse speed to give you a more pronounced view. As you can see, it is clearly pulsing like if i now as you can see it is pulsing it is just an extra um functionality that we really don't need and gas clouds is as you can notice in the edges there you have that effect if i remove it if i turn it off i mean you can just see what happens now you can see there that edging effect has been removed now you can change increase that and stuff like that so cool let's get started i will be recreating this material right here i'll just um go ahead create a new material i'm gonna name it tutorial or tutorial whatever now for the first note i'm gonna use is black body um it um it gives you the main temperature stuff um i'm gonna do pretty straightforward and i'm gonna plug this into the um basically into emissive color make sure it is sent to opaque and surface right so this give you and gives you and let me just say um physically correct material so for the temp i'm just gonna hold s and left click to create a scalar parameter and i'm gonna name it temp nature for this i'm gonna do 3000 in kelvin right okay so first you will notice something it is going to be completely black because we have to first run it through oh it is gonna have some color due to the emission but as you can see here it has this colorized value what i can do is search for multiply and out of it i can just hold t left click and well put this in here search for fire it is in the starter content make sure you have added that and we'll put this in the base color and emissive of color now you have your very basic material ready now what i want to add is that pulsing functionality first i'm gonna do it stepwise now as you can see you have that here actually you wanna do 30,000 my bad now for the emissive color just right click and get time time gives you um the time mm, let's just say like it could be in milliseconds nanoseconds i really don't know um like if you're a programmer just consider this delta time i'm just gonna multiply it by another parameter to control its speed and i'm gonna name it pulse speed simple 0.2 default value and then i'm gonna i don't i want to create a waveform 
so that it goes from a particular value to another particular value so this sign converts it into a waveform sign node converts it into a waveform from the value of minus one to one so it is going to pulse you can't really see that because i have to multiply this later on but first thing you're gonna have to do is i don't want it to completely go away so that it, it goes completely black so uh, i'm gonna add a constant value to it and for that constant value i'm just gonna and a scalar parameter name it pulse intensity simple right and two so why it is going to say is add to minus one add two so it is going the minimum value will go to one and the max value is one created by this node is gonna have two added to it and so our waveform will, will range from one to three simple now out of that i'm just gonna drag here and multiply this now this won't give me that take option right now that i have in here so what i'm gonna do is first drag from here i'm just gonna right click and search for static switch so what is this gonna do from the value just drag off a uh, static bool parameter so what is happening here is that i'm saying if this value is set to true in the instance then use this value and if it is false use this value right okay so what do i have to do here now first thing first plug it into the emission color now if my pulse ah sorry pulse now this is what the base color alone looks like nothing much right if the pulse is true i'm gonna use this emission with the pulse in it and if it is false i'm just gonna use the direct emission by this black body well here you go you have that set up right so as you can see i have used a different method here now i'm having this time and i'm having the switch now if this is true if this pulse value is true then it is going to multiply the this to the emission and it will use this at the emission color ignore this one just think it is getting directly input there i'm just going to build this right now after this one after i explain this now if it is false it is going to do a mul um, multiply it by one so that it doesn't change anything in the multiply as x into one is equal to x right so now let's create the gas clouds whatever you know call them now i have this functionality set up right here i'm gonna drag off some stuff now from here i'm just gonna i usually use the asterisk but what you can do hold m and left click simple b you can input it into a or b doesn't matter really i'm just gonna press ctrl w and duplicate and put this here and we'll plug this in here so now first thing first i'm gonna hold t and search for results i'm just gonna use same one of them it is being repeated because well it is a very huge project all my testing stuff is done here cool so what do i want to do out of this now this is an rgb image and every image has three channels red green blue and alpha if you may um that is not a body right now so i'm not gonna cover that so red uh, all these four values are in grayscale right so in grayscale that means in black and white so i'm just going to use that uh, to my advantage advantage as a mask now i'm gonna drag off from here and i'm gonna say what do i want to do i wanna multiply no First, I want a static switch. Now, if this is true, then use that value. I mean, this value. I just hold control to, you know, place all these connections elsewhere. And just hold one to get this constant value and one, right? And 
put this into vault so it doesn't change anything if my gas clouds are not there so bool static bool gas clouds simple I'm just gonna set the set this to true okay same trick using use here and here well here you go and you should have your material it is ready pretty much let's see yeah it's done and with that awesome looking effect at the edges there now you can go ahead and we'll mm, I really don't want to mess with these right now because it is sun is a gas cloud now just right click create material instance instance my head and plug this in here or or you could just go ahead and drag it up here no difference here because well the values are same for now for now um no don't want to change anything in that one let me say a wall first don't wanna lose all that stuff okay first thing first so i'm just gonna drag it up here and well yeah that will do that is something well looking good maybe i want to add something else as well maybe i want to go here and drag it up here and well either what if i want to say that you can have this or you can have a color i'm just gonna use the static switch again or now in the value bool static bool parameter solid color so now in the false i'm just gonna hold three and left click to create a three vector that is a color right click and convert to parameter so that it is accessible in the instance and i'm gonna name it color and i'm gonna apply simple what if i want tiling control do i want tiling control and do i need it actually if it is true i want the color if it is false well i don't want the color right my bad mm, i'll just let it happen there now let's go rest in now what do i want well if the salt color is there mm, no i was talking about tiling right so search for texture coordinates but it is a sun you really don't need tiling I'll co i've covered those in my previous videos like the water shaders etc you can just go check them out now yeah solid color i'll just put this to 30,000 back there what the heck is happening with my idm let me just close my idm there right now if i turn this on it will be black for now but do i want black no do i no i don't i'm just gonna set a color there and yes you can do this alien hokey pokey i really don't like that actually i do like that but in this is the sun right there orange shade i think playing with these values yep that's what i want i think yeah looks good now you can go ahead and turn up the temperature a bit to get well it look good and let's see if i play what happens this water shader i have not covered yet maybe someday i will it is up there the material is up there you can see your surroundings but you really are blinded if you look at this one now i was talking about blinded right let's try this let me go 15 million kill blinding white right 
so let me just play it I'll just go to the top there and boom you really can't see anything even the top of the player is gone right so yeah I've shown you guys how to create this stuff and well the pulse intensity yeah I gotta show you the pulse intensity as well I guess I'm just gonna set the speed to 1 for a while so that is distinguishable let me put the instance here and we'll try it down I want my pulse intensity if I increase my pulse intensity the minimum value is being increased so really high values will be very indistinguishable you can't really see the difference here right uh, what I want to do is something like one now as you can see the emission is really fading out a lot here so that's why I use a value of two so that it looks like it is pulsing and I just don't lose my emission if I add to it zero this is what minus one to one really looks like it only shows the base color for a while there and the pulse speed to something like 0.2 is good very slight pulse not really seeable but does have that effect you need so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys make sure to if you like this video make sure to press the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep yourself notified about all the latest videos and tutorials and goodbye until next time